Hi, my name is Suresh Krishnan. I am the technical marketing engineer supporting Juniper Switches. Hello everyone, this is Rajesh Patil. I am the cloud solutions architect here at Juniper. In this video, we will demonstrate true zero-touch provisioning capabilities on Juniper Switches. We will also demonstrate how Juniper's network director simplifies setting up the ZTP environment. As part of this demo, we will show you how to set up ZTP using Network Director. Then we will look at ZTP in action. And finally, we will verify that newly configured device gets added to Network Director automatically. Before we look into the actual demo, let us look at what happens in the backend during the ZTP process. When a Juniper switch in the factory default state is connected and powered up, the ZTP process kicks in and starts sending DHCP request messages. The DHCP server responds with an IP address and the necessary information to get the software image and configuration file to the device. The device gets a software image and the configuration file from the information provided by the DHCP server. The device installs the downloaded software image and the general configuration. At this point, in step 2, the basic ZTP process is complete and the device has the appropriate software image and the general configuration file. Steps 3 and 4 show how Juniper's automation capabilities can enhance the basic ZTP process and provide a true ZTP solution. The general configuration file will invoke an event on the device that would download a Slack script to the device. In our example, this Slack script checks the LLTP neighbor for this new device and based on this information generates a file name for the location specific configuration file that should be applied to this device. Depending on the requirements in your environment, you could use custom Slack scripts that addresses those requirements. At the completion of step 4, the device is ready to provide the services necessary for that location. You could replace this device with any other Juniper switch in that location and it would provide the exact same function. And finally, in step 5, the device automatically registers with Network Director. Let's get started with the actual demo. Typically, network administrators would manually configure DHCP server and other components required for ZTP. At Juniper, we understand one size doesn't fit all, so we provide the option of manual configuration or using network director to simplify the entire provisioning. Let's go ahead and set up the ZTP profile on network director. In the server setup section of the ZTP profile, you should provide details like DSCP and file server information. Next, provide the root password for the devices. Then, select the type of devices you are enabling the ZTP process for. After that, select the image that should be deployed. In terms of config file, network admin can use the default config file provided by network director but in this example, we'll use a custom configuration file. Then configure the pool of IP addresses. If you want to add any other device, just repeat the same process for that next type of device. You can have a quick look at the configuration file that would get pushed out to your DHCP server. As you can see, this is the configuration that will get pushed out to DHCP server. When we click the finish option, network director will go ahead and configure the DHCP server with the parameters we just saw, as well as it will go ahead and push the configuration as well as image file to the file server. Now, let us look at the actual ZTP in action. We have connected and powered up an EX3300 switch fresh out of a box. 
In this screen, you can see the EX3300 switch console on the left and the FTP server interface on the right. On the FTP server, you can see that the device downloaded the general configuration file and the device downloaded the software image file. After downloading the image file, the device compares the downloaded image with the installed image. And if they are different, the switch installs the new image and reboots. After the device reboots, the device will install the downloaded configuration file. At this point, the basic ZTP process is complete. The device has the correct software image and the base configuration file. As part of this base configuration file, an event would be triggered that would download the ZTP Slack script from the file server and run it on the box. This script generates a file name based on LLDP information and downloads the file from the file server. As you can see, the device has now downloaded the location specific configuration file and installed it on the device. Now, if we go to Network Director, we can see that the device registered with Network Director automatically. That brings us to the end of our demo. As shown, with the combination of OnBox ZTP and scripting capability, along with a simple to use UI for provisioning ZTP environment, Juniper provides a true zero-touch provisioning solution. Thanks for watching.